In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus HCl. This is silver nitrate plus hydrochloric acid. With net ionic equations, the first thing we do is balance the molecular equation. In this equation, it's already balanced, so we can now write the states for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrate's very soluble. Put a little AQ. That means it'll dissolve, dissociate, and split apart into its ions when we put it in water. Hydrochloric acid, strong acid, strong electrolyte, that's going to be aqueous. Nitric acid as well, that is a strong acid, it'll be aqueous. But silver chloride, when you see a silver compound, you need to be careful. Often they're insoluble. So let's look silver chloride up on a solubility chart here. And we find silver right here and chloride right here. So most of the chlorides have an S, they're soluble. But silver chloride is insoluble. That means it won't dissolve in water. And since it won't dissolve in water, it's going to be a solid. So we'll write S after AgCl. So this is going to be a precipitate. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube when this reaction takes place. Once we've written the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. Silver is always 1 plus, and the nitrate ion is always 1 minus. Both are good to remember. So we have Ag plus and I'll write aqueous at the end. I won't write that now. Then we have the nitrate ion, NO3 minus, hydrogens in group one, and then we have the chloride ion. So we'll have H plus and then Cl minus, the chloride ion. Those are the reactants. For the products, we said plus and minus, we'll have H plus and then the nitrate ion, NO3 minus, but for the silver chloride, the AgCl, because that's a solid, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. We're just going to write AgCl. And this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out these spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic. They really haven't changed. So here in the reactants, we have a nitrate. In the products, we have a nitrate. Cross it out. We have a hydrogen ion. We have one here in the products. Cross it out. But everything else, that's unique. And that makes this the net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus hydrochloric acid. I'll clean it up and add the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus HCl. You'll notice that the charge balances out. We have a positive and a negative. They balance out. We have a neutral product here. We also have one silver atom and then one silver atom here, one chlorine atom and one chlorine atom. So that's balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.